let's get started. While those are rehydrating, let's make our sauce. You're gonna need a blender and all this stuff here. A couple green onions, add those in. Two little habaneros and a jalapeno. Cut the end off, pick the seeds out of the habanero. Because we don't want it to be that hot. Habanero in. We're gonna cut our jalapeno down the middle. We're gonna get those seeds out. Jalapeno in. In. The juice of two large limes. Squeeze the juice. I'm out of fresh garlic today, so I'm gonna use some of the minced garlic, a fair amount. I almost forgot, you need a bunch of cilantro. I'm gonna use about a quarter of a bushel. Add that in. All right, now it's time to add our fruit, mangoes and pineapple. I'm actually gonna cut a couple slices of this pineapple, and I'm gonna save this for later, for the end. So we're gonna add in our pineapple chunks, just trim around the center core piece, like that. All right, now we got our pineapple. Now it's mango time. You need a pint glass. Simply cut right around the mango seed. Now you have your mango slice, press it straight to the edge and just press down just like that. And it'll simply remove the pulp away from the skin because you don't want that part. And we're gonna save this and get some good little pieces off there for later. Add our mango in. Now that our peppers have been hydrated, we're just gonna simply put them right in the blender. This time we're not removing the seeds or the skin. We're also gonna get one can of chipotles in adobo sauce. We're gonna add those in. Now we need the Dano's chipotle. That's the maroon top. We're gonna put a bunch of that in. Maybe about a quarter of a jar. Last step, we're using the mandarin flavored arito. Wanna add the whole bottle in. We're gonna be careful. And push this down a little bit so we can get our lid on. All right, y'all, it's time. Fasten your seatbelt. Time to try it. Oh, this is gonna be insane. All right, this part's real easy. You need your pork butt and one of these Instapots. I'm simply gonna cut this up into chunks to help get that flavor penetrated while it's cooking. Cut into a big piece, and then cut your bigger pieces into smaller pieces. Just take our pork chunks and throw them in. Now it's time to sauce them up. Get in there, get it all moved around. Now we go in high pressure for one and a half hours. All right, now it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see what we got. It smells really good. It's almost like a birria. Let's scoop out this meat. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, that looks awesome. Look at all this juice we have left over. I'm sure we can do something with that. We're gonna set it to the side for a second. Cause I can't help myself. I'm going in here and I'm getting a bite. Just falling apart. Wow, wow, wow. Let's make a taco. You can see how there's a lot of the sauce in here. We're just gonna separate the meat first. So now we got it separated. We got nothing but meat here. We're gonna throw this back into our instant pot. Now we're gonna run this through a strainer. Might need some assistance. Move it around. All right, we got plenty of juice. Wow. Time to get started. We're just gonna head with a little oil. Just get it seasoned up. Go ahead and grab some of our pork meat. We got our organic corn tortillas. We're gonna give them a dip, just like that. Chop up our pork. Add a nice little sear on them. Get our juice. Hydrate that pork right there. Now, we're gonna portion it out. Next step, we got some cheese. I'm gonna go get a plate. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna turn everything off. Let that cheese melt. And then we eat. Now we go eat. All right, it's time. I'm going in with a little bit of pickled red onion. Some of that fresh mango and pineapple. A couple of little pieces of cilantro. Squeeze a lime. Now it's time to see if it's any good. But we're not done yet. Oh, it's good. Mm. Might be the best taco I've ever made in my life. Get that dip right there. I'm telling you what, seriously, maybe the best taco I've ever made in my life. That's the yum yum get you some. Leave a like, leave a comment, 
Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time. Keep sprinkling. Mmm. <laughs>